So there are three kinds of cultists. Number one cultist is the cultist that drinks Panadol without water. Number two cultist is the cultist that chews their Panadol. And number three cultist, which is the of all the cultists. Are the people that drink this. Like, I can't even drink this thing because it looks like clay. How do you drink this? So people say, um, increase my body. It feels like I'm going to stain my inside with this because many of you do not even know what it's made of. Many of you even go as far as adding, you know, the normal drugs you take to this. We will not attack causes from us. There are a lot of people lying in the hospitals with some form of kidney failure or the other. And many of those cases are related to this. What you call Agbo? I'm very careful when you tell me one drug cures my stomach problems, back problems, headache, body pain, penis that cannot stand erect. You are a liar. One particular drug and you didn't ask questions. <laughs> what was that? <clears throat> How can you take this, like this, this, when you know be witch, you're not a cultist, you're not a criminal? I would like to be a, a terrorist. So even go as far. Good. So we even go as far as adding engine oil to the agbo that you drink. When you're not a dangote with drug, let me even take it up a notch. Some people go as far as taking prescribed drugs from the pharmacy with this at the same time. This is not about the man It can't be possible. Are you a soccer way? Are you a toilet? And like how what are you cleansing? Come off that. Come off that. Look, I get it. Things are expensive. Inflation is as high as 22% in Nigeria. Many of us don't even have health insurance. And so going to a doctor or to, you know, a health clinic is completely out of the picture. Call me, Dr. Mike. And that's the reason many people go for this. But let's also look at it. Why would you, in the process of trying to get yourself feel better, take something that will likely harm you in the future? Think about it. Spennywise, pound foolish. There are many people in the hospital who are lying down with different stages of kidney failures simply because of this. Because you're basically taking a product that you don't know how it was prepared. You don't know the ingredients behind it. You don't even know whether it's the eye of a tilapia or the spit of a snail that is inside here. You have no idea. Because they tell you, it kills your stomach ulcer. It destroys your pile. It makes your penis stand erect. I want to harvest you. It kills headache. It kills back pain. Shut up, I got One drug, and you're drinking it. See, look, let's talk. If I came to your house and gave you one tablet, and I told you this tablet can treat 12 different illnesses, would you take it? Let us not come to you. The answer is most likely no, but you believe these guys that will most likely end your kidneys simply because my grandfather has been taking it since he was alive and nothing happened to him. You are a foolish man. <laughs> anecdotal evidence, Nigerians. Africans, wake up from anecdotal evidence. There are a lot of people it's killing that you're just not aware of. I'm not against traditional medicine, no. Uh. All I'm advocating for is that there should be better, more research into the processes of making these things. Look, there are so many other countries out there that are trying to infuse traditional and orthodox medicine. Uh. And that's good because all the answers cannot be found in one place. But then again, the human body is so fragile that anything you take that harms the body can be difficult to treat. And that's why you have to pay very, very tight attention to what you take into your body, especially when it's drugs. Where are they so whenever you take drugs, any drug at all, vitamin C, paracetamol, panadol, cocaine, any drug at all, there are two important organs that you're placing at risk. Number one is the liver. Ngongo, big, somewhere here. His job, break down these drugs from either a form that is more powerful than what you take in or a form that is less powerful. That's his job. Now, even as doctors, we understand that there are certain combinations of drugs that you may take together or even one particular drug that you may take, either in overdose or something, that may send your liver to its early grave. Are you serious? We know and we tell you. That's why your doctor will ask you, are you taking this drug? Are you taking this drug? Before they give you a particular drug, does your favorite agbo seller ask you what drug you're taking before they take whatever it is and give it to you? Can it? Do they care about your feelings? The feelings of your liver? They don't care about it. Now, 
what happens is you take these drugs and then your liver works over time. It's trying to break these things down because let me tell you something you may not know. This liquid that you're seeing, brown, yellow, black, green, contain active ingredients that may make your liver to fail. Uh -huh. Before you know what's happening, the legs are started swelling, stomach is swelling, the eyes have turned yellow because the liver has failed. Oh my God. Look, look, look. If you like yourself, if you love yourself, self-love. Self-love is not just taking yourself to ICN and buying yourself drink. Self-love is also paying attention to the things you put in your mouth because that ago you're drinking might kill you. I've told you. Number two, the kidneys. Two small organs. Like this, just very small. At the back, here. Their job, filter anything or so is putting inside his mouth. Oh, filter it, filter the toxins, send it out, filter this, send it out. The body is, does not have enough water, it keeps water back. The body has too much water, it sends it out. Now, when you take this ago that you love, there's something it does. The kidneys were not designed to handle so many toxins at the same time. And so what happens is that the kidneys start to pack these toxins in themselves. And just imagine you're in the kitchen pouring dirty water into a sieve. And this dirt now clogs the holes of the sieve. What happens? Water begins to pile up in the sieve, right? That's what happens with your kidney. And all of a sudden, the kidney are fed. You're in dialysis. Dialysis per session, 150,000. You're going to need three sessions in a week. How many, how many times can you do dialysis? How many times? How much is your salary? Can you see? Pennywise? Powerfully. You wanted to treat pile. Now you're treating kidney failure. There have been cases of people who sell this herbal drugs, this agbo, mixing orthodox drugs into it. An example, ibuprofen. What? I have seen cases personally of people mixing ibuprofen into the drugs. We know as doctors that too much of ibuprofen can end your kidneys. They can lead to kidney failure. They can cause ulcers. <laughs> They don't tell you how many tablets they mix in. And then you take it and say, ah, it cured my headache. What cured your headache? Was it the agbo or the profane that was mixed inside? NAVDAC as a whole has done a good job trying to regulate many of these traditional drugs. But at the same time, there's still a lot of work to do because it's human beings we're talking about. They're not just animals. There are consequences of taking these things. Go to the hospitals right now. Kidney failure is on the rise. One reason, how about drugs? And you still think it's wise to go ahead and take this. I get coconut head. I get big ear. But I know the hear word. I want you to do something. Go to your pharmacy. You get any package of any drug, you know, that is box of the counter. You may or may not need it later. There's usually a leaflet inside that sometimes can be as big as a cardboard. Of very, very small, 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 small things. They're telling you indications, contraindications. When contraindications, they are telling you these are the people that should not take these drugs. Hey, hey. Oh. But then again, you find pregnant women taking agbo. You find people who have some sort of health condition or the other taking agbo that may contain some active ingredients that may worsen their condition. Nobody says this thing. See, it's not bad in and of itself. They just need to be more research because people are dying. People are losing their lives. People are losing their kidneys. People are losing their hearts. We need to do better. So this time we came to one of the popular sellers of Agbo around Antony, somewhere in Lagos. And we want to hear from the horse's mouth exactly what we're taking in. Thank you for your attention. This one, Dogoyaro. What did this one they cure? For malaria. Malaria. Body pain. Body pain. What's in again? Uh, now only this one again. Just this one. This one aligned with water. Okay. Anybody get uh, kidney or you go arrow? To ban tire ban arrow. They get warm. Or to ban for meat. We'll give this one. Oh, give this one. Yeah. Okay. Slime and water. Yeah. This one, Uncle? This one for Jerry Jerry. What did they use to make this one? Now, hot are they using? Are you serious? Hot? Yes. Hot, hot and waiting? Hot and uh, roots. Ah. Roots. Okay. The Jerry Jerry. For bad people. Yeah. Madam, I did. Aha. Okay. So, when you say hot, eh? So, now like. Schnapps, gin, vodka. 
Ogogoro. Something fishy going down. You don't they take a boy, have you? Yes, ma'am. For how long? Uh, since I'm a fish. Like 10 years ago now. <laughs> and uh, the thing they get effects for your body? If I sick now, if I just take typhoid. If I take that typhoid and make everything, my body will come out, it will come down. It's not you, but a man joke. Take no sin at time for the day. Ah, if I if I do, I don't know my blood now. It's my blood being now. Shut up, my dirty mouth. Okay, so once you start to the lean, you don't know say time for it don't come. Yes, now. Nah. If I say you don't get fever, oh. You get any other sickness where you did take a bow for? Well, JD, with with pain, with pain, with pain. Oh, you know you do well on top bed. Uh, yeah, on top bed. <laughs> oh God, of mercy. Uh, I will just come and I will come and meet and come and give my good JD and hand me. I never say my body. So your body strong. No, it's not where we're. Like you're not, you're, you're getting. Yeah, don't do that, girl. Hear what I'm saying? No, 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 no. I will fix your top bag. Let me my body will do okay. Thank you, thank you. So, guys, there we have it, and we'll get right back to the studio. Piece number one. Agbo contains just leaves. Leaf is safe. Our grandfathers have been eating leaves. Wrong. Fa fa fa. Pow. Because. When we are making drugs, pharmacies are making drugs, they try to ensure that only the active ingredients is separated. That's what's given to you in the small tablets. But then again, our forefathers went to the forest and picked leaves and boiled it. Both the good parts, the bad parts, the semi-poisonous parts that sometimes may be contaminated by microorganisms and then they drink everything. Good part though, bad part though. You're harming yourself. There's something called lead poisoning. There's something called mercury poisoning. How did the people making the agbo know that in this batch of agbo, there's no lead in it? In this batch of agbo, there's no mercury in it. In this batch of agbo, it's completely safe from microorganism. Do they know? Do you know? No, but you're taking it. You carried your life that you're supposed to give to God and gave it to the woman selling agbo. Yaru fire. Please take my life. Do what you will. Keep my kidney off my heart. <laughs> Myth number two. Eh, it cleanses and flushes my system. Sharab, close your mouth. Whoever gave you this idea, <laughs> it's not a good idea. Your kidneys flush your system. Your liver flushes your system. They don't need to be told what to do. So why are you taking something else that will make your kidney overwork harder to flush your system? Just imagine, your kidney and your liver are sweeping your house. And then you now come and pour dirty water everywhere. Nika, use me. Nika, the house is dirty. I feel like sweeping it. What do you think is going to do the job of the cleaning again? The same kidney and the liver, they overwork them and then they'll fall down and die. Only. Only. Is that why your voice is shaking? Can you see it's not making sense? But you, they've used cleaning of system and they've used it to sweat for you. I must cleanse my system. Take fish. There are different types of fish. There's tilapia. There's catfish. Which one does my wife make? There's ejakika. Ah, ejakika and native jello fries. My God. See, see. Oh, Lord. See, producer. I hope there's fish after all this. If you want to cleanse your system, take fish. It contains omega-3 fatty acids that can lower, you know, fat levels in your body. It saves it better than many other sources of protein, like red meat and the rest of them. So take fish, since you want to cleanse your system so bad. At this point, we need to understand that there are many issues surrounding the preparation of these drugs. Because let's call them what they are, drugs. From the handling, to the dosage, to the shelf life, to how long does it stay before it expires? These are the questions you need to know before you take these things into your body. And that is why bodies like NAVDAC have done a wonderful job in ensuring that this herbal dogs we take are as safe as possible for human consumption. Because, you know, they regulate from the delivery to the distribution, even to the consumption guidelines. So look out for the NAVDAC approved herbal drugs if you really once you use herbal medicine. This wraps up another episode of Afro Co Clinic. Because, you know, you're my people, I'm your people. No vex I've been a shout for you in the beginning. You get some things that really vex me. You know, all these things. I guess keep you safe now. Nah, nah. nah. So, don't, don't forget, where, where are you going to? Subscribe. Subscribe, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because of small shouts, I shout for you. And we are now carrying face anyhow. Subscribe. Let's go.